Ratchet and Clank Kraken Time Part 9, I think is what we're on. I hope that's what we're on. So we are here in Monolith Fields, and that takes me back to the ship, I think. So I guess we gotta help end code 11-13, and that's really just gonna be picking up these bots and tossing them into there, right? Come here, come here, come here, yep, 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 yep. is the way, damn it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn down the voices a little bit now. <laughs> These guys are gonna be rambling a lot, I guess. Is that gonna blow up or what? I mean, come on. Alright, where'd you go, guy? Where did he go? There he is. Oh, come here, battery. Oh, come on, now I have to walk through that? <laughs> anyway, so I said in the last video I'd ramble on a little bit more about Knights of the Republic, and, uh, kind of trying to think of what else to ramble on about. I don't know, I can't... I really need to find out if that Knights of the Old Republic 2 get, did get updated, because I would definitely replay that if uh, it did, so... I guess I guess we'll see. I'll, I'll have to look that up some, somewhere. Come on, there you go. Now, don't fall in uh, underneath me, that'd be very mean. Now, as far as Knights of the Old Republic goes, I was amazingly surprised at how good the first one is, because I had tried the first one a little while, or, I don't know, a long time ago when it first got released on Steam, uh, I had actually tried the first one, but then I think I, I didn't save, neither did my brother, it was kind of funny, neither of us charge, huh? Eh, I think I like, I'll try charge, but I'll probably like pull more. Okay. And, I, like, me and my brother, neither of us saved on our first playthroughs, and then we died, and this was back before games were really generous with their autosaves, so what happened was we had to, well, start totally over in real life. And then I had somebody telling me about how great it is and I need to play it, so I finally started it up again, and I was kind of blown away by how good Knights of the Old Republic 1 was, and... It was, like, weird because the game felt like it was more Star Wars than the movies were. Like, the, the game felt more like a Star Wars thing than even the movies themselves ever have been. But now there's the whole stupid Disney thing that none of that ever happened, where Darth Revan, none of that happened. Like, none of that exists now, none of that's canon. And I'm like, ah. So, that's the one thing I refuse to believe with Disney is that Darth Revan never happened. He happened. He is real. That'd be kind of cool if they brought him back. Or, I don't know if they ever will, though. And the plot twists in Knights of the Old Republic were pretty awesome. And I imagine they had a few of those like that in Knights of the Old Republic, too, but... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I never beat it because I couldn't because the game broke. That's kind of annoying. And it was for that reason that I never actually liked much of anything Obsidian had did, because Obsidian made Knights of the Old Republic 2, and they also made Fallout New Vegas and Pillars of Eternity. And I did not like Fallout New Vegas, and I did not like Knights of the Old Republic 2, because it, you know, broke and wasted 22 hours of my life. But I really liked uh, Pillars of Eternity. That game blew my mind, even though it was really just Baldur's Gate 2.0, that game totally blew my mind. I had some pretty dang awesome stories in it, and, uh-oh, was a ton of fun, although it did kind of drag on near the end, and that was a little bit disappointing, but, you know, uh, a lot of RPGs do that. I don't want to be an honorary Bullard. Or whatever this is. What what are these guys? Are these Volards? I think they are. Oh, okay. These must be Volards. Anyway. Ah, Droid Factory, speaking of Star Wars. Okay. Um, Mr. Zircon, and let's try out the Dynamo Doom. I don't know how to control it. Ow. I have no idea how to control the Dynamo of Doom. It said you can steer it around, but I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, level 3 Zircon. Cool. Ooh, those weird frame drops on the old PlayStation. 
Man, I remember when the PlayStation 3 was brand new, and I remember when the Nintendo 64 was brand new. Times are... Time is weird. Speaking of a crack in time, time itself is just weird. How that happens. Oh my goodness. No, Mr. Zircon, you don't get smashed. Ah, let's pull that out. Yeah, I don't like charge that much on this. I like burst. How do I change that? I guess inventory. Here we go. Constructo. Let's go to pull. Okay. I do not remember this area whatsoever, by the way. In case anybody was wondering from my first playthrough, I do not remember anything about this area. How long ago did I play this? It went to another state in like many, many years, so I had to have been... Okay, it was before I graduated high school, so I had to have been like 20... Uh, 2011, maybe. When did this game come out? Because it was, it was a few years after it came out when I played it. Because I, I didn't have a PlayStation 3 until then. Because all my life, I have been a little bit of a raging Nintendo fanboy, and even to this day, that is a little bit true, but unfortunately, Nintendo hasn't released anything recently for me to fanboy over, so... <laughs> that kind of makes me sad. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, hi. Do you know where I can find Alistair Azimuth? Okay, I remember this part. Try this. You're starting to annoy you. How about a barbecue? I don't want to be a barbecued lumbax. You should have trained more before coming for me. Ouch. I've toyed with you long enough. away with your minds, man. Ouch, okay, can't hit them out of the way, apparently. <laughs> oh, that mine did a lot of damage, holy crap. Not bad! It almost borders on Ellen! Son. Forgive me, General Alistair Azimuth, Thorbolt Magistrate of the Lombax Praetorian Guard, Elder Councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, look just like your father. I have so many questions. How did you know him? Caden and I were good friends. He was a great Lombax, smart as they come. He was the first outsider to theorize that the Great Clock even existed. And this clock, you think Clank's in there? Clock is a rather crude translation of the runes on Quantos. Specifically, they say Keeper of Time. But yes, I suspect he is. You see, according to Fungoid lore, the Zoni are the guardians of time. If your friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Where are those blasted things? Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with them? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Ah, here they are. Your father's hover boots. Ready for your first lesson? Is 
If you're going to stop Nefarious, you're going to have to learn how to outmaneuver him. And used properly, these hover boots will give you exactly the edge you need. Now, back straight, legs bent slightly at the knee, and engage. <laughs> okay, equip gadgets using that. I do not remember the hover boots. If you want to turn, just shift your weight. The boosters will take care of the rest. But these are pretty dang fun. Ah! I see you found the accelerator! I've set up a small practice course for you over here. Come on back when you're ready to give it a shot. Sure thing, General Man. Well, looks like you've got the basics down. Now let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course. Oh, he can just destroy big things of garbage like that? Okay. This really shouldn't be too bad. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. Launch. Easy. So is that going to be gliding then? Yep. Oh, I hope I make it. Okay, I'm safe. Is that a golden bolt? No. Well done. You're a faster learner than your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? Sure, let's try it. All right. Follow me. Mr. Zircon is bored. Yep, I hope you are bored, Mr. Zircon. This is not going to be too fun for you. And now for your final exam. We'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover boots. Well, great. Let's go. Oh! Oh, what are you doing? Get over there. There you go. If I can do this, I think I'm a little bit past halfway now. Oh, and I'm safe. Good, made it. That was some of the finest hover booting I've ever seen. Nice work, Ratchet. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. <clears throat> You'll get used to them. Thanks. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information to us, no matter what we do to him. But we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General? My ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Meet me in Axiom City! Planet Tarachnos! What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clay! Hmm, skill point, son of Caden. Okay, how the heck do I get back to my ship then? Is that right? No, it's over there. Okay, well, I'll figure that out in the next video. That'll be it for this one. Be sure to check out the link in the description for a playlist for all the other parts of this video. And check out my other playlists if you want to see other videos that I've done. And by this video, I mean this playthrough because there's more than one part. To, you, you know what I mean. Anyway, that'll be it for part 9. I will continue on in part 10.